today I thought I would do a kind of what's in my bag thing. Uh, no. I went grocery shopping and I thought I would share what I got. Um, it's not always the same thing. I don't always go to the same place because I'm trying to, you know, figure out the best places to get things. It's expensive here. Um, I went to a Dia, Dia, uh, the other day and found mangoes for a euro 49, which was a lot better than the 250 that I've seen them for in some other stores right now. Um, yeah, I took a little walk. Today I went to a Carrefour City, which is a smaller version of a Carrefour, which so far has been my favorite place to shop. Um, at least there's a giant Carrefour world uh, outside the city in the suburbs where I used to live, but it's so far. <clears throat> um, I like to go to the vegan stores too, but I went out kind of late today and I didn't know if they'd be open. Um, but I'm gonna look up a recipe for their fake shrimp. I'm gonna make some kind of fake shrimp thing, I think. Um, someone told me at the end of the month they have a lot more things on sale. It's not the end of the month yet. But sometimes I go and things are like 10 or 20, even 50% off, which is awesome. Um, so let's see. I went shopping and I got changed. Ten euros. Um, I've also been more and more conscious about what I'm buying and it's tough because they do not, you know, make products and stores based on being conscious of what you buy. So it gets really hard um, to shop in a eco-friendly way, even in the vegan store. I got cucumber, not organic. That was a Euro 10, I believe. Oh, I have a receipt. <clears throat> yep, Euro 10. I'll tell you how much things are in here. Um, alright. I have never bought these. I've had macaroons before. This is what happens if I shop hungry. It's bad, it's bad. I don't usually buy, like, snack things, but it was... Where are they? Where is it? Oh, it was 2 50 I mean, macaroons, when you get them with the, um, what do you call it, patisserie, they're like a euro each, so I don't know, I had a hard time resisting that, they look free, that's the thing, free snacks are deceiving because they look all free and healthy and colorful. I didn't even look. Almond powder? Really? Almond powder. I do have egg, of course. Milk. Real stuff in there. Colors, sugar. There's some kind of puree of fruit and sugar. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know.
Now, I've been trying not to buy things in packaging. That's the thing. I don't know if it's recyclable. And I'm really trying to just lessen my impact on the earth because just think of all the trash we make. It just like ends up uh, in the ocean. Look it up. It's got um, guys, it's in the Borgias. You see the main Borgia. Oh, I can't remember his name right now. But watch that documentary. Watch that. I might watch that again. Actually, I put it called Trashed. If you can't find it, look up the Borgias. See who plays the Pope. Look him up. He's in it. I got an apple. Oh, wait. Hold on. First. I, I've gotten made crepes before. Not, not the buckwheat crepes. I have a favorite crepe place here and they make buckwheat crepes and I think they're amazing. Um, these probably won't be as amazing. Maybe if I cook them well. I couldn't do this. That was um, 314. I do know how to make crepes, and I have a crepe maker, I just need to find it. Um, I have not made the buckwheat crepes yet. And, uh, I'm trying to eat more fruits and vegetables anyway. Oh. Oh, I got some ginger. See, I try not to put things in bags if they don't need it. And I try to bring my own bags too. But, yeah, so, um, I really need to have less of an impact on Earth. Um, so, for the grapes, or like, what do I make with the grapes? And I know my favorite one at this place, which is not vegan, is the uh, chef and like, cooked apple. So. I tried to find organic goods cheese, but I couldn't. This. It's uh, raw milk. cheese and I hope that one is supposed to be moldy. That's one thing that weirds me out about cheese. Mold. I mean I've tried it and it hasn't killed me. I'm just wondering if it's good for you. I mean cheese in general. I'm trying to do cheese too much. But I thought there are three different kinds. I could try three different kinds and compare. I didn't know there were different kinds like that. I'm also wondering with goats, like with um, dairy, with cow cheese, I believe that um, to make cheese, they have to keep the cows constantly pregnant, 
giving birth um, so that they're lactating. Um, and then they take their calves and they feel, which means they're in tiny little cages and die young and don't get to enjoy life. Um, so, eating cow cheese. Contributes to the yield, um, but with goat cheese, does it work the same way? Do they, what do they do with baby goats? Um, I have to look it up, I guess. So you don't have goat veal, do you? Anyway, it's supposed to be better for digesting than meat. I mean, then. See, I got an apple too. I don't know if it's the right kind, but my favorite crepe at this place is the chevre and cooked apple. And I'm gonna try to make that maybe tonight. I got almond milk. Um, I'm a bit bummed. I can't. And almond milk is cheap here, as in the U.S. So, in the U.S., you can go to Trader Joe's and get it for a dollar seventy. Here, I keep seeing it for over three euros. This one was two seventy-four, which is over three dollars. My second choice is rice milk, which is cheaper, but I learned you can't make um, chia pudding with it. The chia seeds just do not gel. I wasted some chia seeds. You need soy or almond milk, maybe another kind. They don't have a lot of choices here. Um, but I prefer almond to soy. So I got some. And then, and then, I, I, I turned around to get this. I just had a second thought that I just wanted a glass of wine with my cream. So I went back and got I mean, not back, I just turned around and got some organic wine. Thing is, it could be organic, but is it vegan? Because some wines use, like, fish, um, part of, like, fish intestines or something to, um, I'm not a winemaker, I don't find the wine, they, they say. Um, somehow I think it attracts little bits of grape or something, it just cleans up the wine. They don't always use fish, there's something else they can use. probably find wine labeled vegan. I did make a list somewhere. I could find it online. A list of vegan wines. But I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess they're not French. So yeah. That was my shopping trip. Which was a total of 21, 22 euros and one cent. That's like, how many dollars? Almost 30, I think. Um, yeah. I dream of a place where I can get just so much fruit. So much fruit for 22 euros. Um, 
um, it's, it's, it's kind of depressing to me to go to the store now. Um, just everywhere, just all these boxed things and frozen foods and just this poor quality stuff and bags and boxes and yeah, and, and a lot of it is meat. So it's just a little discouraging. Um, and difficult <laughs> to find like real food. Um, is wholesome. There are farmers markets. I went to, well, uh, kind of happened across one where they had some organic sellers um, on Sunday. I bought some figs, but you know it's expensive here. And uh, sometimes I just don't know what to make. Like there's so many vegetables, but you know you need a recipe in mind and get all the ingredients and the extra things like spices and whatever. I don't always have everything. Um, sometimes I just want something to eat too. But I don't know where you can go for like a decent portion prepared vegan food you could take to go in a biodegradable container for a decent price, <laughs> you know. Um, gosh, I miss Whole Foods. I mean, I thought that was expensive, but at least you can find the things. At least they have things. It's confusing. I know, why be vegan? Why care about the globe, the world, your health? Whatever. It's hard. I don't know. I think if enough of us do that. I mean, it's, it's just better for you and better for everything. And I think if we stick to it, you know, there's more demand. And we grow our own things. And Slowly it'll change. There are a lot more vegan places to eat here. They're not all good. And they're not all cheap. Um, and the vegan grocery store. They don't have fresh fruits and vegetables. But there's a vegan store in Paris. There are other organic stores. And Nine o'clock, I think. No, it's almost ten o'clock. Um, yeah. I don't know. I look forward to a day when... when all the food is real and healthy, you know? And everyone cares and everyone just wants to make real food and eat real food. I don't know when that'll happen. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So, okay. That's me and my grocery store fantasy. Um, gonna get this done and upload it for you. I waited till the last minute. I don't do this. Just, I was actually sick for a couple days, which has not happened in a very long time because I usually eat better, <laughs> but uh, I came here with horrible finances right now and um, I'm still trying to save money so that I can get to South America <laughs> in a couple months. Um, so, and I've been sitting at home just working on the computer, so I haven't been all that hungry, but I just haven't been eating 
as much fruit you know, as I should. I haven't been doing the morning smoothies. This fruit is so expensive here. But I have to find a way now. I had been crediting the morning smoothie with keeping me healthy for the past two years. And I just decided, oh, you know, maybe it's not just that. Maybe I'll be fine, you know. Um, and then I got sick on Thursday. <laughs> so I'm, I'm on the quest looking for the cheap fruit, even if it's not organic. I would really prefer organic. But looking for my fruit, for my smoothies. Because I don't want to be sick again. I've already used up a roll of toilet paper and a tissue box. So. Yes, it's out of commission. So, today I'm not sniffing, sneezing, coughing. So now I'm doing a video. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe maybe I'm still not quite here. I should still be like, shooting the things and touching things. <sighs> Sorry, it was a small shopping trip. <laughs> But, um, okay. Good night. I'll s I can't say I'll see you. I never see you. Um, enjoy. Talk to you later.